Google is everywhere, from search to cloud to advertising to artificial intelligence. It feels untouchable, like the very backbone of the Internet itself. But here's the truth. No tech empire, no matter how powerful, stays on top forever. History shows us that disruption often comes not from the biggest names, but from smaller, more agile innovators who spot opportunities that giants overlook. Right now, while the world keeps its eyes fixed on trillion-dollar companies like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft, a few tiny players, each trading around just $5 per share, are quietly building breakthrough technologies. These aren't household names yet. But their work in areas like spatial computing, neuromorphic AI, and intelligent video analytics is positioning them as potential challengers in markets Google is fighting hard to dominate. And that's what makes this story so fascinating. In the middle of the AI boom, as investors pile into the same mega-cap tech stocks, these under-the-radar companies are taking bold steps forward. They may not topple Google tomorrow, but their innovations show us exactly where the next wave of competition could come from. In this video, we'll uncover three $5 stocks that could disrupt Google. These aren't companies trying to build another search engine. Instead, they're attacking Google's weak spots with specialized innovation. One is mapping the real world into digital twins with AI-powered 3D models. Another is rethinking how artificial intelligence works at the chip level with neuromorphic hardware. And the last is tackling computer vision and big data analytics in ways that could open entirely new markets together. They highlight how smaller players can challenge even the biggest names by focusing on niches where speed, creativity, and specialization matter more than size. If this sparks your curiosity about where AI competition could head next, hit that like button. Let's push for 500 likes so I know to bring you a full deep dive on each of these three companies. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next wave of disruptive ideas in tech and investing. Our first stock is Matterport Matterport is a spatial data company that helps digitize physical spaces into 3D digital twins, virtual, data-rich replicas of real-world environments. Its technology is widely used in real estate, construction, infrastructure, and design, with features like generative AI-powered tools for property visualization, automated descriptions, and virtual staging. In 2024, CoStar Group announced an acquisition of Matterport in a deal valued at about $1.6 billion or roughly 550 per share, a move that underlines Matterport's growing importance in the property technology space. Financially, Matterport has shown steady revenue growth. In the third quarter of 2024, it reported revenue of about $43.8 million, up 8% year over year, with subscription revenue rising 11% to $25.4 million. Its annualized recurring revenue passed $100 million, while total managed space grew to over 50 billion square feet, up more than 30% from the prior year. For the full fiscal year 2024, Matterport's revenue reached about $170 million, up 8% year over year. Losses narrowed, with non-gay AP net loss per share down to just one cent, reflecting improving cost discipline. Recent developments include the launch of the winter 2025 release, which introduced AI-powered property intelligence, tools such as the Matterport Marketing Cloud, designed to simplify workflows for real estate professionals. With a large subscriber base of more than 1.2 million and increasing adoption across industries, Matterport is carving out a leadership position in digital twins. While risks remain, such as ongoing unprofitability, competition from larger AI and mapping companies, and uncertainties surrounding its acquisition, the company has demonstrated consistent traction and remains an influential player in a growing field. Kenstock is brain chip focuses on neuromorphic AI and edge processing, developing chips designed to mimic the human brain's efficiency and enable ultra-low-power real-time inference. Its flagship platform, Akita, targets markets such as IoT, sensors, defense, robotics, and automotive applications. Unlike traditional cloud AI solutions, BrainChip's approach aims to bring intelligence directly to devices, where speed, privacy, and power efficiency are critical. Financially, BrainChip is still in the early stages. For fiscal 2024, it generated less than half a million dollars in revenue, though this was a marked increase from the prior year. Losses remained high around $24 million, but narrowed compared to the previous year. By the first half of 2025, revenues had grown to over $1 million, with net losses reduced to roughly $9 million compared to $11.5 million the prior year. This shows incremental progress, though the business still consumes significant capital. Recent updates highlight growing traction. 
The company secured a contract with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory worth nearly $2 million to apply Akita for neuromorphic radar processing and licensed its technology to Front Grade Geisler for space grade applications. It also launched Akita Pico, a low power co processor designed for IoT and wearable markets. BrainChip has strengthened its balance sheet by securing financing agreements that provide runway into 2026, giving it flexibility to scale partnerships and product launches. Strengths include unique intellectual property in neuromorphic computing, growing defense and aerospace collaborations, and early revenue traction. Risks are significant, including a tiny revenue base compared to high operating expenses, dilution risk from fundraising, and competition from large chip makers like NVIDIA and Intel. For investors watching the AI hardware landscape, BrainChip represents a speculative but potentially groundbreaking player. Our third stock is Remark Holdings. Remark Holdings is a small AI company focused on computer vision, video analytics, and public safety solutions. Its smart safety platform provides surveillance, facial recognition, and big data analytics used in smart city deployments, schools, and government infrastructure. After years of dependence on China-related business, the company has shifted its focus to the U.S., aiming for growth through public sector contracts and smart campus projects. Financially, Remark has faced challenges. In 2023, Revenue fell to about $4.4 million from nearly $12 million in 2022, reflecting weaker international performance. Losses remained heavy with a net loss of nearly $30 million, though this was an improvement compared to $55 million the year prior. Signs of recovery emerged in 2024. In the second quarter, revenue jumped to $3.7 million, up 17% year over year, and more than eight times higher than the prior quarter driven by contracts and the U.S. net losses also narrowed modestly. Key developments have reshaped the company. Remark restructured its debt, reducing financial burdens by converting obligations into convertible notes. It secured a $5 million weapons detection contract with the Clark County School District with the potential for extensions. The company is preparing to launch its solutions on Microsoft's Azure Marketplace, increasing distribution potential and has participated in partnerships and exhibitions alongside major names like Intel. Microsoft and NVIDIA remarks strengths are its traction in U.S. safety contracts, new partnerships, and focus on AI-driven surveillance at a time when public safety spending is rising. However, risks are substantial. Revenues remain small compared to large losses, liquidity is low, and competition from larger AI vision companies is fierce. For speculative investors, Remark represents a high-risk, high-volatility play in AI video analytics. As we can see, companies like Matterport, Brainchip, and Remark Holdings are not just trying to survive in the AI era. They're aiming to build technologies that could chip away at Google's dominance in areas like mapping, edge AI, and computer vision. Each stock is trading under $5, which makes them attractive from a speculative standpoint.